Oh, here, here's the last time we see any of Sora's parents. Everybody serves. Can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. <laughs> A storm? Alright, I guess I missed my chance to fight with Red Wizard Waka. That sucks. Riku's boat and Kyrie's. It's the Heartless. And since I'm in in combat, I can't stop to put on my abilities, which I'm not even sure if I have points for yet. But hey, uh, I need yeah, I need to go and fight Riku. So anyway. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. Which part of the door has opened do you not get? Sora, you dumb fuck. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Riku. This scene was dripping with symbolism. Not deep symbolism, mind you, but symbolism nonetheless. <laughs> Keyblade! Keyblade! Get, get, you, get yourself a man that loves seeing Keyblade as much as Xehanort loves it. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? Get yourself a man that loves you as much as Xehanort loves saying Keyblade. Which again, I hope that, that, that there's at least one person who's never seen Kingdom Hearts. And I'm just saying all of these like, references to the later games. And they don't, they have no fucking clue what the hell is even being said. It's just gibberish. Which, to be fair, it is all gibberish. <laughs> like, I love these games. Uh, unlike public opinion says, they are actually fairly easily uh, followable, I guess. I don't know what the right word would be. But they, they aren't that complex once you actually like pay, pay attention and have access to all of the games. Which is, you know... Like, the first part can be an issue to some. The second part is a bigger issue, generally. Although, thanks to the... Uh, collection that I am playing you know they have made it a lot easier but still there's they, they, they keep doing it because there is the new gacha and it's only out in, in Asia as of this recording and it has story stuff and it's also a gacha <laughs> so you know but anyway I guess I'll just grind XP on these assholes I mean, it's only one experience per guy so I have to kill a thousand of them level up if memory serves but you know that's would you not like to watch me just fail about for the next 20 hours i have no clue where i'm supposed to be going by the way i, I draft probably yeah that, that that would make sense yes but yeah one thing that i i wish that the later games uh, retained which, you know, you could argue that it would be overpowered, which it probably would be. Like, it's probably a balancing decision that it hasn't returned. But I do appreciate how different actions give you uh, different amounts of experience. So, like, carrying 
gives you additional experience point uh i don't know doing air combos as you saw it gave me two i believe or something like that while i was fighting the boss in sora's heart which <laughs> i don't know if that's spoilers or not <laughs> at this point it's hard to tell what's spoilers and spoilers and what's not because it's like you know everything gets so recontextualized throughout the series that you know that could just be like Sora wears shoes and that someone could say that's a spoiler and I'd, I'd go like I guess the Gacha made it, made it canon that there's important relevance to Sora's shoes so anyway how's your day, day been? I'm aware that uh, this is this form of communication that we are currently having is strictly one way, but I will ask you regardless to create an illusion of uh, this course. Which, then, then again, I suppose comments. You could just leave a comment. I don't know why you why you just tell me about your day in the comments, but sure, fuck it. If you feel like it, go ahead. I'll probably read it. Either <laughs> which way I might not reply, but I will read it. Uh, but yeah, like this, this <laughs> seems like a good uh, place to, to farm experience for level ups. Grand Wizard Waka would have been a better one. I believe I reached level 30 in my first place or my second place, rather, by grinding him. Because, you know, he does his uh, attacks and you just parry it, and it's not hard, that hard to parry, and. It gives you 50 level ups because every parry is 5 million points and I have ESP.0 which is the opposite of what I want. And I just, I just call it experience, experience point, experience points points zero I think. Because the XP is experience points, yes. See, like usually the EXP to me registers as just a shortening of experience, so it's it, instead of you know the full word is just exp. Regardless, I have. <laughs> Why am I going this way? For, for a fight, truly. It, it is the one true reason that we're all here for to watch me ne never leave Destiny Islands and just fight shadows for the rest of like this playthrough. It's gonna take us. I don't know why I looked at the clock. Like, <laughs> yes, the clock will know. The clock shall know how long it takes for me to level up to like level 100 or something. I don't know. The clock will tell me one time when I'll, I'll get bored of grinding shadows in Destiny Islands. The thing is, though, like this is genuinely a pretty good early form, <laughs> just from what I'm seeing on screen right now. Because even when they hit me. They don't hit me a lot, but even when they hit me, they deal negligible damage, and they drop 5 million health balls. Okay, get out of there. We need to, uh... <laughs> roll percent. Just keep, keep going until, like, I unlock roll. Defense is up. That's cool. I still know how to roll. What level am I? Uh, yeah, I can check because I'm in combat, I forgot. So I guess while we do this, I'll, I'll talk about other parts of the game that I might not uh, remember to talk about once I get there. Oh, not that status. Sora is level 5. Roll unlocks at like level 15, but I only need 58 points or so, so that's 58 heartless killed. Yes, anyway. Uh, yeah, one of the things that really uh, that I really enjoy about this series is the amount of, of variety that it offers. Because you know, this is something that not everyone enjoys about the series. In fact, there are specific things that people hate, but I, I don't because it's variety. But uh, yeah, like uh. 
you know, the, the drumming ship segments in this game. It's it's a 3D shop. Why is it in this 3D action RPG, I guess? Like, it's, it's a hack and slash RPG, which is... Or at least that, that, that is the, uh, the genre that I, I, I would describe Kingdom Hearts as myself, because... It has RPG elements, but it's not truly, like, a, a solely focused RPG. It has hack and slash elements, as in, like, you know, you can see the screen, but it's also not completely hack and slash, because there is still the RPG elements influencing the hack and slash parts and stuff like that. So, whatever. But yeah, it, it just has a shmup section, but actually, like, multiple shmup, sh shmup, sh shmup sections, yes, words. And they're all fairly well thought out and put together. Oh, I prefer the sections in two, but that's neither here nor there. But, you know, which this game specifically, I would also say it's kind of like uh, Star Fox, which I have had the, the pleasure of playing once for 15 minutes. And so my recollection of how the gameplay works is a bit hazy. <laughs> And as such, you know, my uh, statement of, you know, it, 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 it's a bit like Star Fox might not be completely truthful, because I don't fucking know <laughs> either which way. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's neat. Uh, the portable games generally have interesting uh, side activities. I won't call them good, but they are interesting, like, you know, the uh, ice cream minigame in Birth by Sleep that everyone hates, but I don't, because it's good. It's like, the, the worst thing, the worst part of it is that it's boring, as far as I remember, and like, whatever, you know, I can put up with that. The, the, it's not like the part minigame is a lot more uh, well thought out or fun. And I don't even really, really remember what the third one was. Like the, the most well-featured minigame in Bird by Sleep is Mario Party. But like, that, that, that is to the point where, it's, where Bird by Sleep might as well be Kingdom Hearts Party. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I spent most of my time playing through King Bird by Sleep. By just playing Mario Party because, you know, it, 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 it levels up your moves immediately and it gives you better moves immediately and of, for no charge. And why would you not? But then, uh, I am going against Zeitgeist in that I don't think Bird by Steep is all it's cracked out, cracked out to be. Like, it's, you know, this might be better to discuss when, when I'm, once I'm actually playing Bird by Steep. <laughs> if we ever get there. But, you know... My, my priorities right now are trying to play through the numbered games, I guess. I don't Well, at least 1 and 2. 1 and 2 are my priority of, like, these, these are the things that I need to hit. Uh, the other games would be nice, but then the, the, then the problems arise of, like... Uh, I cannot stomach Chain of Memories. I, I'm talking about the, the 3D remake. I, I might give the, the original a shot. But like that, and I also have no means of being recorded. I have days, I have both uh, versions of memories. Like the, the only game in the series that I can think of that isn't a mobile game is a uh, recorded that I don't have access to, which I mean, like it honestly, for recorded, I could just low key. Okay, slap shot. I think I might have chosen the wrong. Uh, set up for roll, which is a shame. What is slip shot? Okay, cool. That seems good. So yes, uh, as I was saying, yes, like before recorded, I could just re-record this game, and by re-record I mean take this footage and just do fade like ADR, uh, some gameplay commentary over it, and hope that y'all don't notice. <laughs> Which, honestly, now that I say that, it, it might become a, an April Fool's joke one of these years, once I actually start to get, get around to doing those. But otherwise, uh... Yeah, like... That, that would cause, cause an issue. We could watch Reloaded, 
or recorded rather but at that point like what am i adding narration maybe like to, you know to the, to the like handful of, of images that don't have narration by the actual people who voice the characters already so yeah they might just do a thing of like hey here's what happened in chain of memories and then just go into two instead of actually playing through chain of memories because like ah you know Then again, once again, I'm not saying no, no completed chain of memories because who knows? Maybe I like the original Game Boy, Game Boy version. It's just a rechain of memories that I, I had uh, that time with for its like gen genuinely mainly for its implementation of how the movement and stuff worked because it just felt like playing this game but games and like why and then at that point why? So you know, maybe if it, maybe the original Game Boy version will stand on its own two legs uh, for me. And maybe I'll actually enjoy that. I, I cannot go through there, so I suppose I was supposed to go to the door. Uh, how much time have we spent fighting shadows? Uh, editor, put it on screen. <laughs> now. So yes. Anyway, uh, thank you for coming to my to my TED talk. Eventually we'll reach the door. Once I'll cease fighting shadows for cheap experience. <laughs> 